All right, this is a video on multiplication and division within 100. And the problems go from easy to hard. Okay. So the first problem is, which two expressions below are equal to 16? Now, expression is a vocabulary word and it just means without an equal sign. So seven times two is an expression, four times four is an expression, 8 times 2 is, is an expression, and 5 times 4 is, is an expression. So they're saying, which two expressions below are equal to 16? So you just want to know which one of these, A, B, C, or D, is equal to 16. So what I did here is, um, this was the problem here, and I wanted to show my work here because I'm more accurate when I do that. I do it in my head, but then I like to write it down also, and I suggest you do too. So the first thing I do is I know this tells me how many fingers I have, I'm gonna have, and this means of, so it's seven groups of two. So what I wanna do is have seven fingers and count by twos. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. So I know this answer is equal to 14, but if you don't believe me, then, um, I can just show you my work with a drawing. So I know this is seven groups of two. So I'm gonna do seven groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm gonna put two in each group. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, two, one, two, one, two. And if I count up the total in all the groups, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that definitely equals 14, but they wanted it to equal 16, so this one is not correct. Next problem. This problem here, I could do it with skip counting. This I know how many, it's how many fingers I'm gonna use. That's the skip counting song. Four, eight, 12, 16. So this is equal to 16. To double check my work, how about this time I use repeated addition? This means four groups of four, so there's one group of four, two, three, four, and I'm gonna add, because this looks like repeated addition, and if you want, I do my little box, and now I count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So this way also equals 16. I use two different methods, doesn't matter which one you use, and I proved that four times four is 16. So this is correct because it equals 16. Now I'm gonna try C. Eight groups of two. I know this is how many fingers I'm gonna have and I'm gonna skip count by twos. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. So I got 16 on this one. And if you don't believe me, then I can just do eight groups of two. So I'll do repeated addition. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I'll add them up. Remember this is repeated addition because I repeated the two. It's not that I have repeated plus signs, okay? And now I'm gonna use my little box and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that's also equal to 16. So they wanted to know which two expressions equal to 16. It looks like I've got them, but I still wanna double check this one because sometimes I make mistakes. So I'm just gonna double check. So I know this is five fingers, five groups of four. So I'm gonna skip count by fours and I'm gonna have five fingers. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So this is equal to 20. Or I could check to see if this is right by using repeated addition. Five groups of four. One group, two, three, four. Five groups of four. And now I can use my little box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I've proved that does equal 20, but it does not equal 16. 
So that is not the right answer. So next question. So in this problem, it's a word problem which scares me a little, but I know I just have to read it carefully and maybe draw a picture. It says, Mia has a lawn mowing business. She earned $77 in total for mowing 11 lawns today. Well, that's a lot of money. How much does she charge for each lawn mowing job? So hmm, it says she uh, mowed 11 lawns. So I'm just gonna draw 11 lawns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <clears throat> now, I could skip count, uh, or I could do one for me, one for you, or I could do, it looks like she had a total, this is a keyword, a total of $77. So when I get the total, I always put it first. It looks like this is division. Divided into 11 groups equals how much? Or you could do it in multiplication. What number times 11 equals 77? Okay. So I know my 11s, it says, remember, I think I'm gonna do it this way, or I could do it this way, but I'm gonna do my division, and I'm gonna ask how many. How many 11s are in 77? Well, I know my 11s, it's 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77. So that looks like seven. So I think that's a seven. Now you might not know your 11, so let's just do one for me, one for you. One, until we get to 77, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77. So if you look, I have got in each group, I've got a seven. So it looks like for every lawn mowing job, she charged seven dollars okay so the picture really helps and when I'm doing my one for me one for you I kind of like to just make them into my dice it just makes it more fun for me it makes it like the game and then the last problem this one's the hardest so it's Kai's dad is building a rectangular patio in their backyard it is nine tiles long and five tiles wide how many tiles should Kai tell her dad to buy? So it's a rectangle. That's my first clue. Okay. And it's nine tiles long. So I'm just going to maybe do this in this color. Hop. Um, let's see. I'm going to hop one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is nine tiles long. And wide is hop. One, two, three, four, five. And it's a rectangle. So I'm just gonna make a rectangle out of that. Oops, sorry. So 
So I'm gonna just do, okay, this would be one length. This would be another length. This would be another, and this would be another. And I know it's five tiles wide, okay? Oh, well, this looks like an array to me. Look at that. So all I'm gonna do is actually, oh, that's kind of a boop. I'm going to draw my tiles so I can just count them. So it looks like I have five rows, one, two, three, four, five, and there's nine tiles in each row. So that looks like it's five groups of nine. So if I was going to count that up, I would remember that uh, this is the fingers, and that's what I'm counting by, the skip counting song. So I'm going to count by nines until I have five fingers. Nine, eighteen, twenty-seven, thirty-six, and forty-five. It looks like it should be forty-five. Forty-five tiles. But I can just check by counting by fives here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. And it looks like I've got it right. So this was just a sneaky little array built into a problem. Okay, I hope that helps. Thanks, bye.